I'm so fucking scared. <laughs> um, Don't be scared. We're not gonna let this fly, right? The Jim Crow logs are being reinstated. Are we gonna... Y'all gonna let... They really sitting up in that courtroom? Let me do some digging. I had to look this up officially because you gotta be joking right now, right? They are not joking. They're trying so hard, y'all. They're trying so hard. Listen. A court has decided to uphold a racist law, a racist voting dynamic in Mississippi. And they admit it is racist, but they're still going to uphold it anyway. And their bull feces reason is that they're worried about the crime rate. <laughs> Let me explain this to y'all. They basically would not have no say so of who votes for the judges. The white chief of justice would appoint its own judges, prosecutors, public defenders, police officers running a new district. I see the state of consciousness that they're trying to bring us back to. This movie is literally explaining what is going to happen. And it's based on a true story. They about to come together to make their jobs easier. Watch this clip. This woman, because she was living in a bad neighborhood, was falsely accused of selling drugs. What's happening in Melody is happening all over our country. Drug task forces use military tactics to terrorize poor people. This is the basic example of what they're trying to push. Watch this clip. If you plead guilty to felony possession with intent to distribute, you can go home today with a 10-year suspended sentence and a small fine. But I never sold any drugs. Then post bail, we'll set a court date. $70,000. Or you can stay in jail and await your pretrial hearing in, uh, into March. That's almost six months. I can't do that. I mean, what am I going to do about my kids? I'm sorry the burden your behavior has imposed on your children, Miss Roberts. That is why I'm prepared to offer you a plea. Under no doubt, if you don't take the plea, we will prosecute you to the fullest extent of the law. They all in the circle. You're basically not going to get any help if they come at you with some legal bull crap. I'm going to say this. Matter of fact, I'm going to let somebody else say it. So with that being said, this is a message to all you gang members out here. If y'all have enough common sense to have this person doing this, this person doing that, this person making the drugs, this person killing phone, this person running shit, this person doing that, y'all have enough motherfucking common sense to start a motherfucking army to protect your fellow people. And with that being said, if this situation ain't tell you anything, you better know this. Ain't no more acting like how y'all acted after the Black Panther Party was dismantled. The universe is over here working spiritually. We got stuff to do too. If y'all let this fly, and I ain't talking about no riding, because that ain't gonna do nothing in these coded systems that they trying to make. We gotta protect our people. It's time. It is time. Let's start protecting our people. We really just need to duck off somewhere. Y'all stay dangerous. Y'all don't think they're going after the kids? Watch this. Now, we all know who this is. We know he is very bold with his Satanism. Uzi Vert was standing on a stage decorated with crosses and naked mannequins at the huge Rolling Loud Music Festival while he performed the lyrics, I'll make a city girl believe in Satan while he was wearing a belt that was made up of interconnected Baphomet symbols. Y'all see why they signed these women and the propaganda that they push. Twerk music, trying to make girls do ratchet, irresponsible stuff. They're all messing with people who are in that circle of the Illuminati. I forgot, TikTok, this video is for educational purposes, not real and it's scripted. He clearly shows that he's a part of it. Now, watch this. Hold on, let me explain something real quick. Before everybody starts screaming and saying, oh, like I told y'all earlier, you motherfuckers that enter the rapture. And if ain't nobody flying up to heaven right now, obviously all y'all motherfuckers going to hell right with me so let's get it oh you already here i'm so sorry you can't get out you're stuck it's over you heard the song a million times and you didn't even know that's run that last part again you heard the song a million times and you didn't even know that's they play this song so many times on the radio and i see why do y'all remember the travis scott concert people were saying they felt like they were in hell the entrance looked like he was eating souls. Y'all need to deeply feel what XX Tentacion said. Because music is frequency programming. Music is frequency. What fre frequency are you being fed? He goes on to say, I can make you feel whatever I want to by the frequency I play. We're not going to talk about the horns. But y'all, he literally said, y'all heard the song a million times. Y'all already in hell. Watch this.
These kids is cheering, smiling, happy, screaming. Oh my God! Do you see what they're feeding these kids? It's all about control. It's all about what they're programming you. His name literally sounds like Lucifer. Luzivert. Say it three times. Say it three times. Y'all know how in this TV show, Lucifer, where he picked a vessel to incarnate himself onto Earth? What if he's the vessel? Are y'all catching my drift? Y'all stay dangerous and stop letting y'all kids listen to this stuff. Let me just explain something real quick. A lot of people don't tend to pay attention to the things that they need to correct within themselves. Nobody ever wants to talk about their dark side, their shadow selves, the dark side of our history, the dark side of anything because they can't face it. For example, I've been having a conversation about the Moors, and if you don't know who they are, they basically civilized Europe. And they taught the Europeans all the things that's needed to know. Now, when I talk about the malevolent things that they were doing, I'm getting comments saying it wasn't all of them. Make sure you don't group them all together. I swear I can say the same thing about these comments about how y'all want to kill every white person on this earth. But it's all of them that need to get dealt with, right? Let's just talk about how they're trying to bring back a Jim Crow law in Mississippi. The bill's primary goal is for public safety because they're worried about the crime rate. This bill is going to mainly affect melanated people. So just because they portray us on TV, and incarcerate our people based on our skin color. All of the melanated people have to be punished and have their voting rights taken, but it's not all of y'all, right? Why is everybody being condemned? So can you still say that every single white person needs to get dealt with? That's the same mentality that these lawmakers are doing. That's the same mentality that racist white people do. This is what I'm talking about, elevating your mindset, because you're running in circles about how you feel. You're telling me to make sure that I don't group all the malevolent bad moors with the good moors. It wasn't all of them, right? And it's the same thing for the non-racist white people. I'm the type of person, if I say something, I mean that and I'm going to stand on that. It seems like most of y'all, if y'all were given the opportunity, y'all would just off an entire race. Now, I get it. Some of y'all are in this wartime energy and we might need it to go up against these elites. But we also have to balance our comprehensive thinking. Y'all stay dangerous. Again, TikTok, this video is for educational purposes, not real and scripted. I'm trying to tackle this illusion of separation. So let's just read the comments of where I was talking about toxic spirituality towards white people. You may want to delete this video, falsehood and misconceptions in it. Now I love everybody who is following my page regardless of how you feel. I'm not trying to check you. I made this page so I can speak freely of my perspective. I'm going to try to cover up y'all names because I don't want anybody to be attacked with saying how they feel because we need to address it. So as you see, I'm every white person I'm going to see. Them surviving ain't going to fly with me. You must have a white forefather or granddaddy because your spirit is bashing us people, but approving of white people and white supremacy. So we're just supposed to be submissive and let them mess with us and we can't say nothing about them. Then she shows a screenshot of a white boy in the sun with crystals as if that's supposed to move us. Let me explain to y'all who the people I was talking to as far as me talking about toxic spirituality. I've already said this on my YouTube. I had an experience with a family member who had a white friend over. I don't like calling us color, so I'm going to use European. My uncle who brought him over, we started to have a conversation about genetics. He was cool about it. He didn't feel offended or nothing. He was actually interested in what was going on. Now, after my uncle presented this information, he started to operate out of his ego. Basically saying, yeah, we know you can't take the sun. Calling him a saltine. Talking about him smelling like a dog. All types of rude things. When this white man didn't say anything offensive. And at this point, I'm confused. I'm like, I thought this was your friend. You brought him over here. Now you want to sit in his face and bash him? And this is what I'm saying. If you hate white people, if you see a random white person walking, mean mug them. You see any of them working, doing taxes at a bank, serving food, disassociate yourself from that. If that's how you truly feel, just be rude to random white people. You take your kids to go play at the park and you see a little white girl, oh, leave the park then. Because that's what the energy is giving. I'm trying to get out of the program of calling people colors, so just work with me. Let's just be clear, never have I ever defended white supremacy. I'm pretty sure at the rate of how their ancestors were actually assaulting our people, there's gonna be some type of white in your bloodline. And one thing about me, I'm not a hypocritical person. I'm here to elevate my community. Look at this picture. You see that? That's us. Look at this picture. You see that? That's them. It looks the same way. We're doing the same thing that they were doing to us. We're acting the same way that they were acting towards us. And it's not helping. It's not improving us. There are actions and uprisings that need to be taken for us to be protected. But who's going to protect us from our own people? If nobody's taking accountability for the bad things that is done. Some of my cousins I don't even mess with because they're interacting in that gang stuff. Keep focusing on what the elites want you to focus on. Oh, I'm going to talk about why you think they're bringing up that Jim Crow law. This conception of thought is literally the prime example of why little girls who go to their family members saying that their uncle touched them and the family members doing nothing about it because they're related. Oh, he wouldn't do that. Stop lying. 
Y'all not gonna talk about the melanated people who help Europeans gain power over us, but I will. Cause I'm not a hypocrite. We gonna get into it though. Y'all stay dangerous.